Good evening. You're watching the news from the South on the Man Television. First, the headlines. Saham Club is crowned champion of His Majesty the Sultan Football Cup after beating Al Khabura Club in the final match 1-0. His Excellency, the Minister of the Royal Office, uh, says that, that there is great royal care for Sultanus laborers and workers at the private sector. <music> Precautionary measures are taken after suspecting human contractions of Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever in the governorates of North and South Sharqiyah. And the public authority for consumer protection seizes more than 4,000 expired products distributed to a number of hotels and restaurants. Live from the news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television, here are the details of 7 o'clock news bulletin. Saham Club was crowned champion of His Majesty the Sultan Football Cup for the sports season 2015-2016 after beating Al Khabura Club in the final match 1-0 in the extra time. The match was strongly contested as it was in the first half went in favor of Al Khabura Club but the second half came equally contested by both teams. At the 91st minute during the injury time a cross kick by Saham player Mohamed Matar landed in the net of Al Khabura to be the golden goal concluded the eventful match for Saham to be crowned for the second time in its history by the cup. Amidst great joy by Saham fans, His Excellency Lieutenant General Hassan bin Mohsen Ashirekhi, Inspector General of Police and Customs, the chief guest of the match, handed the cup to the captain of the club and golden medals to Saham players as players of Al Khabura received silver medals as runner-up. أخرى نادي صحم النادي الأزرق الجميل يتوج من جديد بالكأس الغالية أغلى الكؤوس كأس جلالة السلطان المعظم لكرة القدم يا لها من لحظات جميلة يا لها من لحظات رائعة تعيشها صحم بأكملها في لحظات من الفرح والفخر والسرور محسن جوهر الآن والكأس و <laughs> the Sultanate marked World Labor Day, which falls on 1st of May each year. On this occasion, the investment building and the permanent premises of General Federation of Oman Trade Unions was opened in Ghala in the Wilai of Boshar. The total area of the project is estimated at 10,000 square meters, and only 6,000 square meters were implemented so far. It came to improve and enhance various services as well as to represent uh, workers and defend their rights. It is worth mentioning that the General Federation of Oman Trade Unions uh, was able to monitor the requirements and aspirations of the workers and employees in the private sector and through this investment building it will enhance exerted efforts for national mountain power. The opening ceremony was presided over by His Excellency General Sultan bin Mohammed al Nu'mani, Minister of Royal Office, who stressed that there is great care and attention accorded by His Majesty the Sultan to the Sultanate's workers as well as workers in the private sector and there are plans being uh, implemented on the ground. He also explained that the efforts exerted in this field will have a positive impact, especially since the dialogue that has been applied in the Sultanate between the government, employers and workers have paid off and this policy is considered successful and will be followed in the upcoming period. With the aim to implement training programs at the training centers of the Oman Council to members and employees of the State Council and Shura Council in various administrative, legislative, legislative, legal and economic fields, the State and Shura Council signed a memorandum of joint cooperation with the Institute of Public Administration in the fields of training and preparation of training programs. It also aimed to gain participants with skills, scientific and practical knowledge in specialized fields, as well as to enhance their capabilities in various specializations at all levels. That will be in addition to developing skills of active uh, contact preparing and coordinating and that related uh, to visits of two councils delegations to other countries and uh, parliaments.
The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth uh, took up precautionary measures after suspecting human contractions of Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever and the governorates of North and South Sharia. Procedures included quarantine on suspected farms, not allowing gazelle and purchase from them, prohibiting exit and entry animals until making sure of being free of the disease. It also conducting operations of spraying suspected farms against uh, parasites such as as, uh, ticks that carry the diseases in order to protect citizens and residents of possibility of contracting the disease. The move came after the Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth received a report from the Minister of Health suspecting human contractions of the disease from the Wilaya of Sur and Ibra, assuming that the cases contracted happened uh, through dealing with and slaughtering animals purchased from one of animal farm. The Omani team won seven medals while participating in the fourth Gulf Vocational Skills Competition hosted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in Dammam. The team was uh, won three gold, two silver and two bronze medals in eight vocational and technical skills, particularly in business uh, software solutions, graphics design, welding, vehicles, electric wiring and network system management. Hundreds of participants from various higher education institutions discussed the efficiency of institutional performance and education in order to develop higher education sector in the Sultanate. That came at a workshop on Oman Quality Network in Higher Education organized by Omani Network for Higher Education Quality. It dealt with modern methods of institutional data and performance efficiency. They also reviewed experiences to reach to high level of institutional performance. You're watching the South on the Oman Television and still to come in our news bulletin. The price of gold in local markets has increased due to controlling manufacturing prices. تابعون وعلى الهواء مباشرة عبر أثير إذاعة الشباب من سلطنة عمان صباح الشباب من الأحد حتى الخميس صباح الياسمين الجمعة والسبت تو النهار من الأحد حتى الخميس شباب على الهواء من الأحد حتى الخميس على ذوقك يوميا مع عدا السبت السبت بطاقة بيضاء إذاعة الشباب من سلطنة عمان Welcome back to the news from the South on the Oman Television. The exchange of points of view in academic fields, uh, top topics of meeting of Lieutenant General Ahmed bin Harith and Nabhani, Chief of Staff of Sultan's Armed Forces, when he received a delegation of National Defense College of Nigeria, led by Major General Eni Moni Benjamin Nuasi, Deputy Commander of Nigerian National Defense College, within the context of the visit to the Sultanate. They also discussed a number of matters of joint concern.
Major General Ani Moni Benjamin Noasi, Deputy Commander of Nigerian National Defense College, and his delegation visited the National Defense College and listened to a comprehensive briefing on the college and its contents of modern equipment. They also toured various sections and halls which were designed at modern specifications and equipped with the best scientific systems and multipurpose e-network systems. The Nigerian delegation also visited the College of Command and staff of the Sultan's Armed Forces at Muaskar Beit El Felij. They were briefed about the college and its approach in qualification and training, its IT techniques and various facilitations. The delegation then visited the Sultan's Armed Forces Museum where they got acquainted with its historic manuscripts and models, which depict the Omani unique architecture at Beit El Falaj Fort and its development stages. More than 4,000 expired products of food staff were seized by the public authority for consumer protection. Specialists at the authority discovered that a food staff company changed expiry dates of various items, including spices, meat, oil, fish, cheese, pickles, and other food staff of well known trademarks, repacked them in a new bags with new expiry dates, and then distributed to big shopping outlets, hotels, and luxury restaurants at the time that the authority stressed the importance of issuing a law determined expiry dates of not more than six months before entering the country. Despite the decrease in the prices of uh, ounces of gold during the current period, citizens purchasing gold say that its prices are notably high in the market. Some of them purchase gold yearly with a certain price today, for example, and tomorrow they sell it for half the price of even less, losing hundreds of reals. The shopkeepers say that the prices of uh, manufactured one, uh, ounces are not stable, leading to the fact that they control the pricing in a certain way. It's worth mentioning that the increase in the gold price is more common on the local level. Public Authority for Electricity and Water uses the latest and the most accurate technologies to check and control the water quality to be compatible with the international health standards. The authority prepared a supervisory program to check more than 450 specimens of the drinking water daily from various water sources related to authority in the governorates of the Sultanate. In case the consumer discovered that the specimen doesn't meet the healthy requirements, the authority discharges the available quantity and treat it from the beginning to be compatible with the safety requirements. The Sultanate participated the world countries to celebrate World Safety and Occupational Health Day through launching safety and occupational health exhibition in the governorate of Masqat. The exhibition which witnessed a participation from various government and, or, and private institutions aimed to spread awareness among the individuals and community on the importance of rights and duties in work environment in addition to exchanging experiences among the participated institutions. The exhibition which was organized by the Minister of Manpower focused on the long working hours, psychological stress as well as productivity measure. The number of travelers uh, through Dukum Airport increased to more than 15,000 passengers last year compared to 8,000 passengers in 2014. This came with increasing number of huge economic and investment projects in special economic zone in Dukum. Operation Boeing 737 on the route of Muscat Dukum came in the time of increasing work and construction of passengers building which expected to be ready in 2018 within the third phase of airport project which observed about 500,000 passengers each year in addition to establish a building for air freight that absorbed about 25,000 ton every year and its uh, scale or in the future to keeping up with growth in Dukum special economic zone. 
The Sultan has total number of fixed telephone lines stood at uh, 446 918, constituting a growth by 2.8 percent in March 2016 compared to the same period in 2015. The statistics issued by the National Center for Statistics and Information pointed out the prepaid fixed telephone lines rose by 6.3 percent to 59,569 lines as at the end of March 2016 compared to the end of 2015 while the postpaid fixed telephone lines stood at 333,554,000. The Director General of Education and the Governorate of Baremi held a ceremony to inaugurate a laboratory equipment maintenance workshop. The workshop is considered the first of its kind in the Sultanate and it's provided with the latest maintenance devices. The workshop will contribute in improving the scientific level of the students. They will be able to carry out experiments in the fields of pure sciences. The inauguration was accompanied by an explanation about the workshop's features and the types of devices it will handle. The workshop will provide training sessions for the students. The farm municipality confiscated 60 illegal uh, possessions in Niabat of Zik in the Wilaya of Salala. This came after ensuring that the owners of such uh, possessions do not have legal documents and licenses from the bodies concerned. The team for immediate elimination of illegal possessions in the governorate continued its field work to combat such phenomena according to the legal procedures and regulations. In addition to spread awareness among all citizens to all preserve all land plots of the Sultanate from illegal positions and not to start building unless they get official licenses and building permits. Bahla Souk is considered one of the main cultural landmarks in the Wilaya of Bahla that is enlisted in World Heritage List since 1987. The Ministry of Heritage and Culture currently implements a project of renovating part of the souk due to its cultural, historical and economic importance. The souk is located near the historical Bahla Fort. Citizens and tourists flock to the souk to buy various types of commodities and stuff including traditional guns, uh, artifacts, handicrafts, uh, ghee and grains. The Ministry seeks to implement uh, other parts of the souk in order to activate and revive the economic role of the souk, which in turn will contribute in boosting the economic movement in the Wilaya. And now for the general weather forecast to run the south and not clear to partly cloud skies will prevail over most of the governorates of, uh, uh, with the chances of cloud accumulation and scattered rainfall occasionally thunders and on the Hajar Mountains and parts of the coast of Sea of Oman. Dust raising wind is expected on the governorates of Dofar and Al Wusta. Winds will be northeastly light to moderate over the coastal areas of the Sea of Oman while on the governorates of Al Baremi and Al Zahira it will be north Northwestly light to moderate rest of the governorates. It will be south to southeastly light to moderate. Seas will be moderate along the coast of the Arabian Sea with a maximum wave height of 2 meters. Rest of the coast, it will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters.
This is the Southern Otofoman Television. Now, before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Saham Club is crowned champion of His Majesty the Sultan Football Cup after beating Al Khabura Club in the final match 1 0. His Excellency, the Minister of the Royal Office, says that there is great royal care for the Sultanate's laborers and workers and the private sector. Precautionary measures are taken after suspecting human contractions of Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever in the governorates of North and South Sharqiya. The Public Authority for Consumer Protection seizes more than 4,000 expired uh, products distributed to a number of hotels and restaurants. With that, we come to an end of tonight's news bulletin. From this news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television, we all thank you and good night.